So I wanted to go over the Pokemon New Season news. This is the Pokemon Go New Season news for June 1st until let's say June 5th or June uh, yeah June 5th because we'll do a, we'll do another video for the Tuesday event. So here are the events for the uh, new season up until June 5th. All right, here we go. We got a lot to cover here. We're gonna get started here. This is the Pokemon news for the new season, Hidden Gems. Hidden Gems is gonna contain, or it's gonna start June 1st, 10 a.m. local time, Thursday, all the way until September 1st, 10 a.m. local time, basically three months, we should know this by now. Seasonal bonuses, you're gonna have one additional special trade per day. So that's interesting. And then you'll get one additional um, Pokemon candy when trading. Trainers level 31 and above will, will receive one guaranteed candy XL when trading. So they're bringing that back. So it seems like to, to be a season of XL, collecting XLs. Maybe this is more relevant in GBL now. Um, here's a little note previously, a temporary seasonal bonus to the damage dealt by Pokemon participating in raids remotely will be permanently increased to the same amount of damage dealt by Pokemon participating in person. So they made that change in the past. We've anticipated that they would get rid of the damage, but they're going to permanently allow the remote raids to be a thing and um, remote raids to be an option. But of course, with a limit and a price increase. Pokemon debuts for the hidden gems. Many Pokemon will make their Pokemon debuts throughout the course of Hidden Gems. Sandy Ghast and Palisand. Palisand. And then there are the Sand Pokemon uh, debuting during Water Festival Beach Week. So Sandy Ghast and Palisand. Interesting. It's going to be Alola region. Okay, and they're going to be ghost and gra ghost and ground type. They're known to possess and curse people. Ooh. Also, what their debut is a uh, Carabink, the jewel Pokemon. Um, but where will Carabink first appear? So that's uh, probably going to be another event that's going to debut that. Here's the the most recent debut: Shadow Pokemon debuts. Are you ready to face the Shadow Raid boss? Shadow Raids will be available during Hidden Gems starting on Monday, June 5th, 10 a.m. local time. So this is what I was wondering when they when they released Shadow Mewtwo's and all those other um, Shadow Level 1s and Level 3 raids. Were they going to release Shadow Raids with regular raids on a non-event? And here's the confirmation. June 5th is when they're going to officially start that. So simultaneous you're gonna have shadow and regular raids um, throughout the week and then here's another very interesting note and then while five star shadow raids will be available exclusively on Saturday and Sundays unless otherwise noted so here's here seems to be the format Monday through Friday you're gonna have a bunch of one three shot three star um, shadow raids in addition to the one three mega and five uh, five star regular raid bosses and then on the weekends the the trend seems to be they're gonna try to promote Saturday or on the weekend Saturday and Sundays you're gonna try to promote the five star shadow raid boss where you where you have to do them in person so a little bit of a different season let's see what happens shadow Articuno is incoming so hidden gym shadow Articuno will be available to battle in five star raids for the first time in Pokemon go you can even encounter a shiny shadow so this is exclusively only on the weekends. Interesting. So on the weekends, they're gonna have a different kind of side event every single weekend, it says. Very interesting. Um, in Go Battle League, you're, gonna, there's gonna be, um, get your Pokemon ready to battle in competitions such as Fossil Cup, Great League Edition, Summer Cup, Great League Edition, Summer Cup Ultra League, and Element Cup Little Edition. Research Breakthrough. For I guess the whole season is Sableye, Beldum, Aldino, Purpuru, and Gumi and Noibat. Um, here's the city spawns you can see. Forest spawns. Mountain spawns. 
and then water spawn. I mean, maybe a little bit of a shakeup, but it's still just similar stuff. Um, Hemisphere exclusives, Northern Hemisphere, Paris, Alone Executor, Dratini, Tree Coat, Torchic, and Mudkip, okay? Um, Southern Hemisphere, Meowth, Alolan, Marowak, Beldum, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplum. Okay. And then here are the two Ks. You can have Staryu, Kleppa, Igglybuff, Magby, Azumarill. I don't know why Staryu is in there. That feels very out of place. Um, five Ks. Um, Omni, Kabuto, Shuckle, Sableye, Raganrula, Marini. Uh, seven Ks is the Hisuian forms. Rowlet, Voltorb, Goldfish, Sneasel. 10 Ks. Um, Dino, Imoga, uh, Bagon, and Ah, well, okay. And then, in the interesting, Brando's Shield on, and I stunt is nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. 10k, you can get a Galarian Yamask, I guess. That's kind of cool. Um, So, yeah, that is the introduction of Hidden Gems. So, I want to go over next week's events up until tuesday the, the the new season starts on thursday so we can expect mega swamper to also arrive on june 1st 10 a.m local time until june 15th 10, 10 a.m local time uh we've seen this in the past but i don't think as a mega raid by itself so mega swamper is going to be back you can get the shiny form what else also with the new season, they're gonna have the Lake Trios, Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf are in the raid. Five star raid starting June 1st, 10 a.m. to June 15th, 10 a.m. local time. Um, from Thursday to Thursday, basically, you're gonna have two raid hours, June 7th and June 14th, um, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time. And once again, these are exclusive to regions, Uxis in Asia, Mesprit in Europe, and Azelf in the Americas. Uh, you do have an option to remote these, but of course you have a five remote pass limit. So if you do need these regionals, this is technically a way to get them is through remote, but if you are just doing in person, you're only gonna be limited to whatever region. And then here are the, the shiny versions, they're all pretty much just like goldish. Um, let's see what else. So let's let's go over this part first. Searching for gold research day. So Saturday, June third, two p.m. to five p.m. local time. You're gonna have another research day. Seems like this is focused on finding gold shinies, and also this little bonus: Pokestops may turn gold without a golden lore. Roaming form gimme golds won't appear at golden Pokestops if a golden lore module wasn't used, but. Treasure hunting trainers may still find Gimme Gold can coins, excuse me, when they spin the Pokestop. All right, so they're trying to tie in the gold with the Gimme Gold, and then gold the shinies probably. Um, the following Pokemon will appear: so you have Weedle, Bellsprout, Puchiana, Buizel, Temple, Jomen, and Stuffle. Pretty much like bright colors, they're shinies. Azumarill and Lickitung is also going to be available. And then you can have field research geared towards Caterpie, Nosepass, Barfoge, Magikarp, and Sableye. Once again, mainly like goldish, bright color shinies. Um, you can buy a $1 time research ticket to encounter more of these Caterpies, Magikarp, Nosepass, Sableye, Barfoge. And of course, here are the shinies, like I just said, it's, it's in the title, so you can kind of expect that. All these shinies are going to be available. All of them are looking gold, brightish colors. Makes sense to me. Um, probably my, my one, the one I'm probably trying to go for is Shelmet. I think I have the rest of these. Let us know in the comments which one you are looking forward to and which one you don't um, necessarily care about. So that's going to be interesting. And then. I want to I want to briefly go over this event here, um, but I, I think they had the the date wrong. Um, Shadow Articuno, I believe, is going to start on the weekend of June 10th, the the June 11th, 
So even though even though this is June 3rd, I think that's a typo right now because I've seen other infographics that uh, state that they're gonna start June 10th. So keep that in mind. Once again, Shadow Articuno raids are gonna be only on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, starting 10 a.m. local time to the Sunday 8 p.m. local time. And you can only do them in person. And the Shadow raids, you have to probably get a, a group of three or four and start collecting your purified gems. You can get the shiny, so that'd be interesting. Um, with the introduction of Shadow Legendaries, it feels like every weekend it's gonna have its like side event. And now you just gotta ask the question to yourself, everybody. Are you willing to go into the Shadow Collection? Because you can tell that they're trying to shift a lot of people's interest to either the Shadow Collection or helping people obtain 100% legendaries a little bit more easier, right? Because with these shadows, because you can purify them for the plus two stats across the board, it does allow you to obtain 100% legendaries, shiny or not, a little bit easier. So does this make you more inclined to do these shadows so you can get 100% of these legendaries? Or are you just going to be doing them for the shadow decks? That's going to be up to you, but it's clear to me that um, Pokemon Pokemon Go is introducing another level of collection now. So let us know in the comments if you're going to be joining in for the Shadow Articuno raids. Once again, I do believe this is a typo. It's going to start June 10th to June 11th. Okay, and then for those of you into um, Go Battle League, Hidden Gems update. So we can go over these quickly. You can go to the website. You can get the information for yourselves. Um, the, new season, the new season starts June 1st. Um, you're gonna have all of these leagues pretty pretty much um, they're gonna rotate through greatly ultra league and match league with a mix of like specialty cups kind of standard but I think the more important thing that we want to address is the move sets so this is all pretty pretty standard information you're gonna have the uh, time research pass again where you gotta do a hundred battles to get some of the uh, elite TMs um, so this season, at H, you're going to receive clay style hat and clay style shoes. Veteran is clay style pants. Expert is clay style shirt. Legend is clay style pose. Uh, I guess this. I guess these are the poses. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, they're inspired by Clay, the gym leader of the Drifio gym in the Unova region. Um, I want to go to the moon. Let's, where's the moon? Okay, here we go. So new attacks. Liquidation, charge attack, it's gonna be 70 power and a chance to lower the opposing Pokemon's defense by one stage. Interesting, a debuff move. Leafage is a fast attack. It's a six power for GBL. Attack changes, Ice Ghost Spear is gonna do more damage now, 65 power. Poison Fang, more damage, 65 power. Roll out, five power, that's a fast move. Mud Bomb is gonna do more 60 power seed bomb 60 power with the energy cost increase okay so more damage but more cost so kind of a net zero um available attack updates a lowland sand slash is going to know drill run but fable is going to be able to know fairy wind fast move weekly tub is going to learn charge move this arming voice Gold is going to learn Liquidation Charge Move. Dugong gets both Drill Run and Liquidation as Charge Move, so that's going to get a huge buff. Cloyfish, Liquidation, Vaporeon, Liquidation. So a lot of these water types buffed. Fairy Wind, um, Fast Attack for Togetic. Interesting. Quagsire, Mud Bomb. Finally, it gets a cheap fading um, Charge Move. That's going to make it really spammy. That's going to be something I'm interested in. Tyranitar is going to be a brutal swing charge move. Uh, Cradilly, rock slide charge move. Armaldo with liquidation charge move. Float soul liquidation. Riplum knows a fire move. Mystical mystical fire? Interesting. Snover is going to know leafage, the fast attack. Bomb snow leafage, fast attack. Robo pass. Zap cannon with the chance to debuff. Charge move. Heat trend, earth power, charge move. Samurai, Liquidation, Whimsicott is going to know Seed Bomb now with the charge move. Um, Karakosa, Liquidation charge move. Emolka is going to be Aerobatics charge move. 
hard hitting flying flying moon. Um, Electros is going to be Liquidation. Litwick is Mystical Fire Charge Moon. Interesting. Beer Trick Liquidation. Rowlet Leafage. Uh, Dark Trick Leafage Fast Moon. Sijuai is also going to know the Leafage Fast Moon. Um, Prime Marina is going to know Disarming Voice with the Charge Move. Uh, Fomantis is Leafage Fast Move. And Lorantis is Fast Move. Leafish. So a lot of leap is liquidation, mystical fire. Person Luna, interesting enough, is gonna know ice punch. So a lot of a lot of these buffs to water and grass and also um, some ice here. Be interesting. Oh, and some fairy. It'd be interesting to see how this all kind of shakes up, and it'd be interesting to see where they go from there because um, they finally are able to shake up the meta a little bit. And we'll see what happens. So let us know in the comments if you're going to be particip participating in Go Battle League or if you're going to be um, investing into any of these new moves.